show you guys. And I've been trying to find this reel the day that I've gotten into this style fishing because I knew this was something I truly, truly wanted in the collection one day and now I have it. There's a man once upon a time named Rob Marquette. And if you know, you absolutely know where this is going. Let's take a moment of silence. I'm about to show you guys one of the most rarest reels you will ever see in your life. One, because Rob Marquette no longer makes reels. And if he is making reels, and I hope he does soon, because these things, I've never felt anything so tight. I've never felt anything so light. Brake mechanism in it is just far beyond any check lever you've ever experienced in any sort of center pin. I don't know what else to say, I'm speechless. This thing's absolutely beautiful, it's stunning. It's a work of art is what it is. And what I'm about to share with you today is the most rarest reel I've ever held in my hand in all of my life. So I present to you. Here she is. Check it out. Who wants to see this thing? You want to see this thing? All right, let's open it. Check it out. So, what makes this reel so absolutely special is one, Rob Marquette doesn't make them anymore. Two, these things are so sought after, not everyone is willing or wanting to sell theirs. And they fetch big, big money. So if you were back around when these things were around and in production, you could get them anywhere from seven, eight, nine hundred bucks. And unimaginable what these things cost, it's just holds up against the test of time. Look at that gap, there's no gap in between these two discs to allow it to spin so freely. And what makes this reel so special is not only the port design is so beautiful, but again, the check lever. Look at that engraving, just a simple logo. That's all she is. Thank you, Lito. If you're watching this, the opportunity of owning this reel in my possession is beyond me. And what makes this reel so special, it's this check lever system. Once you flip this to engage its lock mechanism, right, there's a piece that slides on top of the disc beneath here that actually engages the lever. So it's been, it's been modeled after and inspired by a motorcycle brake caliper. And to engage and disengage, you can see beneath the port there, you can see it pop right down and here we go, we're spinning again. All right, let's go find some flowing water. We'll find more free flowing water and it's gonna be a good one. Oh geez, what a day. What an outing. Close Harry, we're close. Bent out hook too. This is the one right there. Uh, no, dude. I think it's the hooks that I'm using. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. In the mouth. There you go. Keep them on. Keep that rod up. Take your time, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Fish, 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 fish. Coming up. Up. Reposition yourself if you have to. Kids, right? <clears throat> nice one. Very nice one. I'm gonna try to double up. Very nice. Take your time. They're still very spunky. Remember, they got a lot of energy in this slow water here. Take your time. Mm -hmm. 
Take your time. And when you when you can bank them, you can bank them. You'll know. I'm gonna see if I can double up with Harry. You gotta chase him, dude. Yo, Harry. Double, yeah, boy. <laughs> Doubled up with my bud. Oh, I changed out the hook to Daichi's instead of size 16 Ravens. I realize those are definitely meant for uh, definitely meant for steelhead rather than salmon. Doubled up with the area. <laughs> yeah, beat yourself, beat yourself. You're a big butterball king. Big butterball king. Take your time, Harry. Let's get this doubles photo, dude. Big ol' Henny. Wow. Look at you.